One thousand dollar money match. <laughs> Alright boys. Who are you guys playing? One thousand dollars. <laughs> I gotta call a notary. Marth Sheik for the money match. Right. Let's see this. One thousand dollar money match. Right, Wait, Zelda? Right. Easy monies. Right. So we got Zelda versus Marth. Uh, Aiden, you're a resident Zelda expert. What's uh, what's his plan of attack here? Um, the Zelda match, Zelda Marth matchup is actually pretty rough. Because most of the time, what you do with Zelda is just space out your opponent with uh, fairs and bears, but Marth Sword just beats you. <laughs> um, so, and your dash dance isn't very good. So honestly, I'd say down B is the strat. <laughs> um, that's probably the strat we're gonna see. Yeah, okay, that's strat we're gonna see. Right. So. Yeah, that's the. Uh the buffer down B. Yeah, that's the number one way to go. Yeah, because then you have a sick grab game. I mean, spacing's still hard, but your movement's better, and the like. And so we start here on Yoshi's. Um, what do you think about this stage to start in this matchup? Uh, you know, I guess it kind of has some uh, some uh, ups and downs for both characters. I kind of feel like Marth gets a lot of um, a lot of mileage out of this stage, though. Yeah, that's that's what I think, cause. When I'm playing as a Marth, this is one one of the first stages I'll strike. Yeah. Like, FD and Yoshi's. Everything else I'm fine with. But this stage is just... I think this is a hugely Marth favorite stage. Yeah, for sure. Uh, his um, his range with the sword is just so much better on this tiny little like area. Like, a wave dash forward smash can get you from almost the other side of the stage. Yeah, and then you add the fact that Marth definitely has the, kill, the, the tipper is stronger than all of Sheik's moves. Yeah. He can kill you at like 40. Yeah, Marth Syndrome is not as much of a problem in this stage. Yeah, because... <sighs> Canyon's got a pretty tricky Marth, uses a lot of like unconventional moves. Yeah, I haven't seen his Marth for a while. He's been playing a lot of Pikachu. Yeah, it's been a minute, and uh, he dropped his Marth to start playing Sheik for a while, but yeah, his, now it's back. I think his Marth was the way to go the whole time. Uh, yeah, his Marth's sick, man. Like, when I first came here, I, the first tournament I came to, the Smash Mines, I think seven, I I matched up against him in bracket and just got absolutely bodied. Yeah, like, there was a time he was joking, <laughs> man. Uh. Oh, and the air dodge oh, off. That's. But JK gets oh, the, the homie stock on a thousand dollar money match. <laughs> 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 Wait, how much is the money match for real? <laughs> okay, uh, we got some confirmation from the players that this is indeed a thousand dollar money match. <laughs> Someone's going bankrupt. Oh, yep. <laughs> is that a thousand each or right. five hundred from each player? Uh, I'm saying a thousand each. <laughs> Two thousand total pot. <laughs> well, let's hope these guys have some in the bank to back up their. <laughs> I've seen Canyon's bank account. I don't know if it can take a hit loss. <laughs> Maybe he's just that confident. He, he doesn't even worry about it. Well, this is this is a very close match. 2% uh, differential. Wall jump back. He always wall jumps back there, even yeah. though it literally saved him. <laughs> I feel like both players are kind of getting a grip on the matchup, kind of feeling out, feeling out the new character. Yeah. Oh. She takes a quick 42%. Yeah, being up on platforms is a... Oh! oh he's living. Canyon stunned he's... on him. That, that looks like a flub to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll just... We'll just we'll say it was stunned. Stunt. It's stunned. Everything's a stunt when there's this much money on the line. And he will grease him after the homie stock. Oh, I mean, it was still a two stocks. So the homie stock didn't matter. That's true. <laughs> okay, so one O Canyon. So we're going back. 
Does he just all I like I swear every game I've seen him play so far today has been on Yoshi's. I think he really likes Yoshi's. <laughs> yeah, which I'm not sure I agree with, especially in the matchups I've seen him playing it. He today I've seen him counterpick a Fox to Yoshi's, a Falco to Yoshi's, and a Marth to Yoshi's. Yeah, those are conventionally characters that do pretty well on the stage. <laughs> I feel like Sheik has some answers to the space animals, but they definitely get a lot of mileage out of this stage. Falco's yeah. combo game is crazy. Yeah, my my personal choice against both spaces most of the time is Dreamland, unless yeah. they're unless they're an especially lame spaces yeah, player. Yeah, unless they're gonna just laser you all day. Yeah, then a lot of uh, our spaces are pretty aggro. They'll come at you. Yeah, like when I play against uh, Bad Buddha, I'll I'll take him to Dreamland all day. Unfortunate. Canyon missing the ledge there. Oh, John's air dodge saved. Him. Oh, fair and able to jump out. We're getting at that higher percent, which is where this stage self counter pick is really gonna hurt him. Yeah, I, Marth kinda has a detriment when a, when a character's at a higher um, at a higher percent like this, because it's harder to link hits together, because all of your uh, attacks start sending them farther and farther away. But I mean, one good forward smash, or up air. Like yeah, up thing is, roll. I feel like, uh, JK could have taken so much more advantage of the Marthritis if he counterpicked to Dreamland, which is the obvious choice. Yeah. Or even Battlefield or FOD. It, just, it increases your uh, uh, your stock by so much more percent. Because I mean, if Marth is gonna kill that was you, pretty nice right there. If Marth is gonna kill you, he's either gonna kill you at like 10 percent or 170 percent. Yeah. But on this stage, that 170 turns to like 120. So. Well, yeah, JK's getting some yeah, he's good exchanges in neutral. Oh, Cannon's just trying to space out that tipper. Yeah, just barely gets on the outside on JK, or JK does. Oh, Nair? Oh, and that drop down yeah. backer, that's going to steal the sock. JK's and it looks got like some good wall jumps. Oh. Dude, his wall jumps are disgusting. And also, and that's that is a two stock. Wow. Almost right. a three stock. He's flipping it around. Yeah, okay, that was a convincing win. Convincing wins have gone both ways now. Yeah, so he, I, uh, he looked very good in neutral. But where are we going now? Are yeah. we going to see the FD Pokemon Stadium? Uh, dude, counter picks have been like, out the window this tournament. Like everyone's just going like where they want. Okay, Pokemon. This makes sense for Marth. Uh, you have those lower platforms which have amazing up tilts at combo setups, just all day, and then. Some space to run around. Canyon has a pretty good knowledge of the stages and counter picks. I expect no less. Yeah. Because I feel like you're either going to take Sheik to here or FD. Yeah. And in a best of five, you need two counter picks. So. Oh. Let's see what Canyon can get out of this. Oh. Marth but has a really good juggle game. It's really frustrating to try to get out of it. Oh, especially a Sheik. Sheik has. has a, Huge problems coming down, especially against someone with a massive up air like Marth. Yeah, Marth and Marth's up tilt, in between, like mixed with his up air, can really cause a lot of problems. But uh, Marth takes first stock. Oh, nice dash the dance. Got nice uh, wave dashes there by Canyon. You see that uh, moonwalk up smash yeah. from JK? JK's sticky walk with that sheet. It's pretty <laughs> crazy. Oh, I wish I could do that. I can really sticky walk with Falcon. Yeah, for real, dude. Or like, like, I like oh. always try to do it with Link, even then I suck. Yeah, oh. His movement is disgusting. I mean, a lot of the tricks he does are very repetitive. Like the wall jump bear. He will spam that seven ways to Sunday. Damn if it isn't impressive. Oh, yeah, it, it, lo <laughs> it looks smooth. Yeah, it's really tight. Like, when I do those wall jumps, I usually end up, like, way further out from the stage. Yeah. Um... JK is like one of the most technical players we have. Yeah, dude, he, I was talking to him, he's at my place for friendlies, and uh, he had two controllers, and uh, one of them could shield drop, but not like, it couldn't dash back at all, like 0% dash back, and the other was, it could he could turn around, but he couldn't shield drop, and he's like, I would rather be able to shield drop than be able to turn around. And I'm like, okay, I guess that's I, a choice. Yeah, I would rather. <laughs> that's pretty crazy, actually. I, like, I, I think he was joking at least a little bit. Oh, yeah. the dancing blade nice. kill! Oh. He hit me with the sickest dancing blade the other day. 
practicing all over that shit. Dude, I, I think it's just a, such a weird move to get used to, and it's under underutilized. Yeah, it's just got such a weird timing, and sometimes it's hard to pull it out in like a tense set situation. Yeah, because, I mean, if you if you mess up, you're a sitting duck. Yeah, for sure. It, it's definitely a double-edged sword. I um, mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, we had she caught on that platform there. That up air was free, and it could have led to a lot more. It was a really good job from JK to get down from that. Because once you land on a platform platform against Marth on the stage, you're in for a world of hurt. Yeah, absolutely. Marth can just reach right up to that platform. Because his up tilt covers the entire platform. It, it's really the key to this matchup. Oh, nice deal there by JK. Can't even get a little too far down up B. Okay, so last stock, and here we see Ooh. the juggle game on the windmill. Canyon getting off, trying to finish it with that up there. But, but now, oh. now Sheik's at 100%, so it's going to be a little difficult for. Yeah, you see the zero landing lag from the high up B on Sheik. Uh, I mean, I don't know if Canyon was ready for that. It's not a very common option, so. I said, yeah, JK can get a lot of mileage off of one grab here, but. Yeah, one grab could bring it from 28 to 60, but... That's a very unfortunate spot for Sheik. If you land on the stage, they have a lot of options to punish yeah. you. If you go for the ledge, that can happen. Okay, well... So that's 2-1 Canyon. 2-1 Canyon. One game... Wait, this is best of five, right? Okay. So, best of five set. Um, $1,000 is best of three. <laughs> no, I was thinking first to five. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> No, it's not gonna be a best of three. That'd be that'd be dumb. <laughs> that'd be pretty messed up. <laughs> but here we are on battlefield. Uh, Yoshi's is now off the table for both players. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that high recovery. Oh, he's going <laughs> for the stunt wall jump. Yeah, that wall jump. He showed me that today. That is actually a disgusting it's, wall I've jump. I've never seen that before. He honest. like wall jump needle reverse ledge grab. Yeah, dude, that's pretty nutty. Like, <laughs> like I, I didn't take enough time to appreciate it when I saw it at first. Oh. Oh man, that sucks. I wish I could do that kind of stuff. Like, dude, my hands are just too stupid. Oh, he went for it again. A thousand dollars on the line. We stock back to back to back to back. Oh, he just turned into a stew talk match. Is the strat. That, you know, that's the way to go. It's really, oh man, it's just air dodge, just spot dodging there. Dude, spot dodging for days. It's, you that's know, the way to go, man. Looking like spacey. Borp up in here. <laughs> Borp plus absurd tech skill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird to think of the fact that this is a technical chic. You don't normally think of that as a technical character. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, you don't necessarily need a lot of technical, um, technical skills to play sheep like you can get a lot of mileage just off of being like good on like a tech chase or yeah like, having good needles having a good neutral but uh john kind of has a <laughs> man <laughs> <laughs> he did it john oh. kind of the full package here yeah dude it and this is only his first tournament busting out the sheik um he's i he, I, d I wasn't here last week for the tournament but uh uh, he's been busting out Sheik hella in friendlies, oh, so this right. is this is not something coming uh, out of nowhere. A practiced Sheik. Yeah, this is this is not a character that's come out of nowhere. He definitely has been practicing the Sheik. Kind of oh, oh, and that and is the end. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. The Sheik dollars. <laughs>